Well done, people. Welcome back to GCSE Science Boss. <clears throat> In today's video, we're going to be looking at a GCSE past paper question on the motor effect. All right. So a teacher demonstrated the motor effect. Figure five showed the equipment used. So you have two magnets here, and you have a wire which is carrying a current. Okay. Explain why there's a force on when the wire. <clears throat> sorry explain why there's a force on the wire when there is a current in the wire so firstly you must mention that there's a magnetic field due to the magnet so that's the first thing so there is a permanent magnetic field okay so there's a permanent magnetic field due to the magnets okay that's your first marking point there is also a magnetic field due to the current in the wire okay there is also a magnetic field so there's also a magnetic field due to the current carrying wire so what you have is a magnetic field here all right there's a magnetic field inside another magnetic field and they interact okay they are interacting all right or they cut each other all right so it runs from north to south okay and there's an interaction of that there so they interact and once you mention that you're going to get your marks there so there's some sort of interaction between the magnetic field of the wire and the magnetic field of the magnets and once you mention that you're going to get your two marks now next question says and students often have so much difficulties with this and it is very understandable okay but you can still get marks all right explain how the direction of the force of the wire can be predicted so when you place the wire inside <clears throat> this magnetic field here the wire is going to move there's a force which causes that wire to move okay and why is there force or how sorry how is how the direction of the force can be predicted you can predict it using Fleming's left hand rule as your first mark. So you use Fleming's left hand rule. Okay? Now you need to know Fleming's left hand rule. Alright? So you're going to place your first finger in the direction. So you place your first finger that finger there you place first finger in the direction of the magnetic field in the direction of the magnetic field okay all right so where's the magnetic field moving the magnetic field is moving from north to south okay so your first finger has to line up with that arrow there so make sure you're using your finger as we speak to line that up from north to south there's some just some rules that you must know that the magnetic field goes from north to south now your second finger all right <clears throat> the c in second to remember that the second finger needs to line up with the current place second finger all right in direction of the current okay of the current all right and look they've identified where that finger should be pointing so you should be using your left hand your second finger should be pointing into the the screen right and be, if you align your fingers correctly you should now note that your thumb is going downwards so the direction that the, that the wire will move is going to jump 
well, it's going to move downwards. All right, so your thumb, all right, sorry, your thumb gives <coughs> the direction, direction of the force. Okay, once you've said all of that, you will get your marks, okay? Have a look at the mark scheme, all right? You can screenshot your mark scheme to see that what I'm saying is true, okay? And just remember, please, please, please make sure you are subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have so many followers on TikTok and you're not subscribing to my YouTube. Equally, if you're on my YouTube, make sure you go over to my TikTok. All the best in your GCSE science.